Hello and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. Today we're going to take a look at the mid-season. I can't remember exactly how many seasons now we've been in the uh, Skybat Championship. I think four, possibly five. I can't remember. But anyway, as you can see, we have quite a comfortable distance up in first. Uh, six point difference to Blackburn in second. And we're going to play against Birmingham, who are currently in fifth. Um, uh, the team's been pretty consistent. Tactics-wise, we've been pretty consistent, consistent as well. No changes in the tra in the January transfer window, so that shows you just how much consistent our squad is. Um, yeah, looking pretty good overall. We managed to do one sale as well. Uh, uh, Lee Harvey has gone to Bradford City. We didn't really need him, so we got a quarter of a million for him. Which is pretty good. Um, yeah, we are in the red finance-wise, but that'll be sorted in the summer. So I'm not too worried about it. But yeah, so let's jump into the match. Uh, oh wait, let's go forward. Don't need to make any changes, but I'm, I am going to put it down to positive. Just because Birmingham is in fifth. So they're only 11 points behind us. And therefore, we need to be slightly more cautious with them. So, let's start the match. We had a few issues with injuries, but mainly with our um, bench players. So, I was able to like fix that. Um, we've been putting some youth players on the bench to, to kind of resolve that issue a little bit, but I think that's all back to normal now. Maybe except the halfback. The halfback, I think we still have a, um, a junior member, not junior, sorry, youth member, uh, playing that position, um, well, lingering around in the bench for that position. The, the season has been pretty uneventful in the sense that we've just been getting on really well. Uh, the squad has been quite consistent, as I said. In the Carabao Cup, I think we, we made it to through two rounds. I think we lost the second match uh, that we played for the Carabao Cup. And we're still in the um, FA Cup. I can't remember who we're playing against next, but... Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, so, so not much to report, despite the fact that we are in first. And that's obviously very exciting. Nothing much to report. Uh, we have upgraded our youth facilities. They're now good youth facilities. So that's an update. One of the things we've played around with, we, it's, our, it's our goalkeepers. So the goalkeepers, we had Tom Yates for the first maybe 10 matches or so of the league. And then since then, Franco Gatto, the goalkeeper that is playing, who is playing at the moment, um, basically threatened to leave because he wasn't playing enough. Um, we've we offered him out, and we managed to get a um, couple of bits of for eight million for him, which I was like, oh yeah, eight million. And the board is like, nah, that's way too low. Um, so. I didn't sell him, and we. I just decided to play him instead, and that's been working out fine, despite the fact we're now losing. Hmm. What happened there? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, yeah. So we we have been playing him. He's not been like 100% of the time like super good, but he's done a really good job. Oh, excuse me. So yeah, so so I'm hoping that we will get promoted and that I'll have time to play one season of the Premier League before we start playing the 2022 beta. That is the plan. Slightly disappointing that we are losing this match, but oh well. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so the, from the features that I've seen from 2022, 
Uh, it looks like there have been some tweaks to the match engine, which will always is always welcome. Um, and some small small tweaks to essentially the, it's more to do with interaction. The way that I see it is more to do with interactions and data, from what I've seen. Uh, which isn't really the type of is nothing that I get too involved with as a football manager player. Why are we? I don't understand why we're losing. Hmm. Anyway, maybe I should have gone even more cautious. Maybe I should have gone balanced. Um, can we pull through that now? Three nil down. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we, uh, we've we seen some features around data and also in, um, interactions. Um, match engine, that's exciting. Especially the the way that that interacts with player attributes and also their reactions and stuff. So that is good. But I was hoping to see something a bit more, I don't know, in improvements to training or improvements to... Uh, they've mentioned some improvements to transfers, but I didn't really understand what was improved in transfers, so we'll have to wait and see. 4 nil. How? We're not playing with a different set of players than the usual set of players, so I don't really understand how. We're losing. Um, hmm. Don't know. It is a mystery. Let's just see our position. Okay. Is is Franco just having a really bad day? Is that what's happening here? He's got penalty now. Bless him. Um. Anyway, it'll be fine. We've got plenty of room. Um, yeah, so so we are looking good for 2022. Um, but we, I do want to see some more features. I think something a little bit better for training would be welcome. Um, and I, I know I know they they are introducing one more. Um, defense position the wide center center the wide center defender uh, i'm not sure how much i will use that though but uh, we'll see because i only tend to play with two anyway so um i'd have to play with three center defenders which i'm not really sure if i want to okay yeah not not really i don't know what's gone, gone wrong here I really don't know what's gone wrong. Hmm. Ortado is having a really bad game, and so is Bell. And they're like usually pretty good. Okay, don't know what's gone wrong there, but we are. We might have to do some changes for the next one then. Let's have a look. So. Let's skip forward to the next match, which is actually an FA Cup match. So we'll find out who we're playing against for the FA Cup as well. Um, and yeah, see if we can figure out what, was, what went wrong there. I haven't heard anything else about the women's leagues. Uh, the, so the video that um, uh, the guys in um, Football Manager has, have put out on YouTube it doesn't mention anything about women's leagues. I'm not really sure if that's going ahead or not. It doesn't seem like it is. I need to remember to sell Morgan Clark as soon as he comes back from his loan. So he's selling Alan Jardine, offloading some players just to know how much? 1%. Okay. Ross County gets 20%. Uh. Okay. Okay, so we're he quite healthy. Uh, I might do some last minute deals 
uh, but I will do that off camera because um, I really want to kind of dig through the database just to see what's out there for a price range that we have. Um, I did try to bring in this kid from Arsenal to be a centre back, but he wasn't having any of it. Um, it, it was, Arsenal was willing to let it, let us have him for free as well, uh, like on a loan for free. Um, but uh, he was like, no, nah, not interested. We made three different bids as well, and he was like, no, nah, not coming. Uh, let's attend the recruitment meeting. Uh, basically, with these, I just go like, yeah, scout everybody, get me reports on everyone. And that's basically how I handle it. As you can see, I don't usually read everything that FM puts in front of me because that would be so long and tedious. So I just... I've learned where to press. So there we go, that, that's the kid, Anthony Flowers. Let's have a look at him. So Anthony Flowers, was, Arsenal was willing to let us have him on a loan for free. Um, but he's decided not to. And apparently, some club in the Scottish Premiership has decided to offer, um, to make an offer, I'm not sure he will accept, but we will see. Let's see if we can sell off... Oh, Stockport, there we go. Let's see if we can sell off Morgan Clark and then we'll head off to the FA Cup match against Stockport. So, let's sell him off. Oh, where is he worth? Okay. Cannot play competitively for another club. Okay, so that might be an issue. He might not. He might not actually go anywhere else because no other club would want to buy him now. Oh. I didn't think of that. And also, Bromley did ask to extend his loan and I said, no, I'm going to sell him. Which might not be the case now. Uh, I'll still try to sell him. Maybe he won't sell because he's been tied up for competitive matches, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Okay, so Stockport's Steve Seedon spoke with excitement at the prospect of facing uh, facing off against a club the stature of your team in reaction to you. Are you looking forward for the clash, I think? Mm, yeah, okay, fine. Uh, doesn't matter. Now, I still haven't finished off looking at the staff for the youth team because I've been so busy uh, that I haven't actually done that. I need to do that before like March or something um, just to make sure it's done within the season <laughs> before I go to the next season. Uh, but yeah. Just been focusing on actually getting the progressing the game enough to record the episode uh, far enough into the future in the game that I didn't actually spend time looking at stuff. It's not all that critical anyway, so that's all right. Yeah, I don't, hmm, I don't think he's gonna sell. Uh, let's just reduce it a little bit. All right, let's take a look at the um, team. Just just have a proper look at it. Again, so Franco. Um, that looks good. Might have to bring in Harkness back in. We'll leave it. Um, Tony still injured. Uh, yeah, all fine. 
that all looks fine to me I, I'm not tempted to change anything except maybe get Mike Davis back on the bench and and that's it no changes let's see what these coaches say about the tactics um, So they made a few changes. I'm going to go attacking because they said we should go attacking. And let's see what comes out. So obviously uh, it would be nice to win this round because of the income associated with it. It would always be nice to come out on top for this one. Ah, oh, Dodds has been injured. Okay. Now, Nathan Smith is actually not very good. So, hopefully that won't be an issue. Utada with the free kick into the area, into the hands of the goalkeeper. So, no harm there. Might give us a cross. Mm, not great. I just noticed the light's been clicking against the table. Yeah, so maybe, I don't know. I've been tempted to put Tom Yates back into the squad, as in like the goalkeeper, but you know. If Franco doesn't do anything terrible, then let's keep him on. Uh, I don't want Tommy Yates to become unhappy though, so we need to keep an eye on that. Okay, so we are uh, one goal ahead. Let's put Albert back in. Certain positions are a bit more more fragile that I can see that we're gonna to have to invest in well the halfback we've been wanting to invest for ages now we've got Tony Quinn but he's injured at the moment uh, the left back position we will have to look at soon and then after that right back um, and maybe the right winger and soon, uh, well, soon the left winger as well, because Dodds is not getting any younger, easy. So, right, let's look at any other issues here. We've got Neil, who's got a yellow card, so let's put Mike in. Yeah, so so there are certain positions that, um, you know. Uh, we'll have to look at, especially if we get promoted to the Premiership. Now, I'm wondering, like, in terms in terms of money, how will we cope in the Premiership if we don't have millions in the bank for transfers? Not sure how we will cope. But we shall see, if we get promoted. I'm confident we'll, we'll get promotion without a playoff this time around. I'm confident, but we'll have to see. Okay, and that will be all for today. So we managed to get through this stage of the FA Cup. Uh, oh, one last highlight. Let's see. Very drawn out highlight. Okay, nothing to see there. Yeah, so we'll we'll see uh, who who we how it progresses, um, who we get in the next round, and.
And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe if um, you want to carry on watching uh, the progress of Hereford in this map, in this game. Got 200k prize, which would be awesome. So we're quite, quite a decent amount of money this month, uh, which is awesome. Four months. Ouch. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I might have to do some last minute transfers for sure. So I'll, I'll get busy with that. And in the meantime, um, you know, go check out Patreon. Maybe I'll drop some sort of hint there of what's going to happen next. Uh, thanks so much. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.